Hello, I'm Lainey Russell from Achievement for All and I've developed the Post 16 programme uh, Achieving Further. October is the month for maths and we've done an awful lot of work with a lot of colleges on improving their maths um, achievement. Common themes from students, and I've been round and spoken to quite a lot of students, and also I was one of those students who didn't quite get maths. And we all seem to agree on some key points, which is how it's used. If somebody's teaching you something that you really don't understand, but you can't even put it in a context, it's really hard to learn it. We quite like the whole story and the big picture. Where does it all fit into what we might do in our lives? Too fast. Um, and can't keep up, that's a really common theme. But obviously teachers often tell me, but I've got to keep up with the curriculum, which is really true, but not if some of your learners can't keep up with you. So we need to find inventive ways of keeping them with us. I often call it like a foreign language. You know when you go to Spain, and if you don't speak Spanish and the person you're speaking to doesn't speak English, and you actually raise your voice, or you speak slower and louder to get them to understand. It doesn't work, does it? And it's the same with maths. If you teach it the same way, and particularly the way that you understand it as a mathematician, it kind of sounds like a foreign language to a lot of students. And the need for repetition, when you're somebody who doesn't get maths straight away, and that isn't the way your brain works, you often have to do it over and over again because just because you've done it in this lesson and you've got it right doesn't mean when you come back next week you can remember how to do it again. So lots of repetition. So things to take away on this particular topic. Find out what the students don't know. Now I know you're going to say to me, but we do assessments and we know where the gaps are. Often when I speak to the students, there's hidden gaps as well, and you can only find those out by working with them. Find out what they really don't know. It could be something very, very foundational. And then actually, if you plugged that gap, some of the other things would make sense. Teach to the brain that's receiving it. Ask them, ask them why they're not getting it and how they're not learning and what they need in order to get it. As I said, very important key message, just because you understand it in the way that you do, doesn't mean that's the way they're going to understand it going into their brain because their brain doesn't work in that way. Animate. What do I mean by that? I always use my hands. I'm very animated. But lots of people can remember things if things are visual, animated, if you use graphics, if you use them. Get them to move around the room. I saw a fantastic class where somebody used their students as part of an equation. They're much more likely to remember that. And also uh, laugh. I think is my biggest trick. Make it fun. If you can make a joke and make people laugh, they remember things an awful lot more. Anyway, that's my top tips for maths. There's loads more. And um, if you want to find out more and find out what we've done in other colleges that have worked, do give us a call, go on the website. Um, you can ring me directly. We can have a chat and see what we can do to help you. Thank you.